Hey there, welcome to another Encouraging Word. My name is Dave. I'm in Clarity, Manitoba. Thanks so much for taking time to watch us today. On Sunday, we honor dads in our service. And of course, on the weekend, you maybe spend some time with your dad or certainly thought about your dad. Uh, Father's Day was a great day. And we also spoke in church about the Father Heart of God. Uh, we we refer to God as our Father, our Father who art in heaven. Uh, we it's very clearly we we talk about that a lot in First John chapter three verses one to three. We read these words: <clears throat> See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called the children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Dear friends, now we are the children of God, and what we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. All who have this hope in him purifies themselves just as he is pure. We uh, lived in rebellion. We rejected God. Uh, and yet God reaches out to us. God draws us in, makes us part of his family. Uh, we are called the children of God. Way back in the 1960s, there was a cult uh, that called themselves children of God. Uh, they've changed their name down through the years. It's still uh, 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 existing. It's called now the Family and, or the Family International. One of their outreach tactics was what they called fishy flirty, in which they used sex to entice new members to come into the group. Uh, their founder, a man by the name of David Berg, passed away in uh, the 1990s, but the, the group still exists and has been accused at various times of, of um, uh, sexual deviancy and sexual abuse of minors and and other non-Christian practices. You know, you can call yourself a child of God all you want, but true children of God act in the way that brings honor and glory to God. And John says, true children of God purify themselves even as they, as he is pure, as Jesus Christ is pure, we want to be like him. And so if you call yourselves a child of God, we make an effort on a regular basis to try and be like Jesus and try and follow in his ways. One of the problems with cults and false teachings, however, is that they tend to um, desensitize us to true spiritual uh, biblical truths. And, and uh, we may not like to refer to that, uh, children of God, because of the cult. But the Bible says clearly that now, dear friends, we are the children of God. Um, this is an amazing statement. Um, we are not just servants of God. We are children of God. As children, Romans says that we are heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. Listen to Romans chapter 8, verses 4 to 17. It says, for those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. The Spirit you receive does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the Spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship, and by him we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Now, if we're children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, if indeed we share in his sufferings, in order that we might also share in his glory. We are not slaves or servants of God. We do not need to live in fear of God. We have been adopted, brought into the family of God legally. Uh, we can call him daddy. Uh, we are co-heirs. What Jesus, what belongs to Jesus also belongs to us and we will share in his glory. Well, that is something that you could think about long and hard uh, for some time. Uh, when you say, I'm a child of God, that is very significant and very powerful. I've read of stories of children who spent time in orphanages for, for a, a period of time before they were adopted. But when they were adopted, everything changed. Their identity changed. Now they belong to a family. Now they had rights as part of that 
family. Uh, it changed their whole outlook on life. And uh, uh, they have a home now. Everything changed because they became children of people who adopted them. You and I have probably never fully considered and thought about what it means to be identified as a child of God. It truly is amazing. And Paul, or pardon me, John encourages the people by reminding to them and speaking to them very plainly, dear friends, now we are children of God. I want you to take some time today, perhaps, and, and consider what all this means to you. What does it mean that you are now a child of God? And uh, what is the significance to you? What does that mean to how you live, how you view life, how you view your circumstances? You are now a child of God. Some of you are struggling. Some of you are struggling emotionally or physically. What does it mean that you have a heavenly father who's the creator of the world and is all powerful and loves you so much? What does that mean? in light of your struggles? And, and what does it mean that you can talk to God about anything? Some of you are worried about the future. You're concerned about the vaccine. You're concerned about different things. What does it mean when you say and sit down and really, really think about it? I am a child of God. Is God going to let something bad happen to me? Uh, can I put my trust in God? Can I ask my heavenly father for things? You can, and you need to think about that. So would you do something for me? Would you take some time and just consider for a few moments today what it means that you are a child of God right now? Not you're going to be. John plainly said now we are children of God. Think about that and what it means. Let's pray together, Father. I thank you for your word. I thank you for the promises that it gives to us and the hope that it extends to us. And I pray for each one watching today, God, that we would consider today what it means that we are children of God. If there's somebody watching today that has not yet received Christ as their Savior, has not yet become a child of God, God, may this be their day when they say yes to Jesus Christ and they ask Jesus to forgive them of their sins, to come into their hearts and allow them to be part of God's family forever. And so we pray, Father, today for each one that's watching that you would speak to our hearts by your Holy Spirit. Help us to understand and clearly uh, see that we are children of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks so much for watching. God willing, we will be back tomorrow with another encouraging word. Have a great day. God bless you.